Welcome to week one of Vlogmas in July. So, I'm moving. Everything is out of my apartment right now. Everything is empty down here. This is the office. Everything's gone and the room feels so much smaller now that everything is out. The wallpaper is down. We're also gonna take down this wallpaper today. So this is Christina now and I'm about to take off this wallpaper. Yesterday it was really easy so I wanna see from my, whoa. <gasps> it is easy. This is my official goodbye to this place and it has been the most amazing first year here in New York City and I am really excited to move into my new place but I can't do that for a while so I'm gonna be living with Erica for at least the next few weeks. So that is going to be an adventure within itself. It's gonna be me, Erica, and Tato all together. So we're gonna have an experience like a little family and I think it's gonna be a lot of fun. I'm going to drop off my keys, take all of the internet stuff out and that's when you know that you're really leaving a place when the internet is gone and there's no Wi-Fi. Okay, this is it. Goodbye. Thank you for everything, apartment. <laughs> oh my god, okay. Let's try that again. Wow, so much for like a dramatic sentimental moment. There. <laughs> On to the next chapter. Today we are headed to the Dyke March and we're currently waiting in the subway right now. Now we, as in the two of us, all decked out in rainbow attire today. So we just got off the subway and Erica is gonna educate us on the Dyke March. Well, the Dyke March is a protest. It started in 1993. There's no permits, so unlike the Pride Parade, which has permits, they work with the city, the Dyke March is just, it's activism, it's a protest, and everyone meets, actually lots of cities have it. We're in New York City today, but San Francisco, Atlanta, Chicago, DC, and it's just about like, you know, same, First Amendment, we can protest, get together until all lesbians are equal, which, you know, we unfortunately don't have equal rights everywhere, so it continues to be a fight. And there will just be a lot of lesbians there. Oh yeah, the train coming up here, packed so with many, lesbians. So many lesbians. Pretty cool. Yeah. We're in the park right now taking that guy for a spin. Oh my God, he's rolling in the grass. That is amazing. Tato's favorite thing to do is roll in the grass. He looks like a little cotton ball just rolling around. They see me rolling, they hating. <laughs> Trying to catch me riding fluffy. Tato's second favorite thing to do is run with Erica. It's a beautiful day, people are flying kites, Tato's rolling in the grass, <laughs> and we're probably gonna head back because Erica and I are gonna go take a yoga class right now. So, come on Tato. Okay. Let's go. And now, for Tato's third favorite thing, drinking water from Erica's hand. Oh. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> well, this is a problem. Oh my god, he's covered in dirt. Oh my, he just all of a sudden laid in the dirt and then Erica didn't see and just like dragged him through the dirt a little bit and now he's like covered. What are you gonna do? You're a mess. <laughs> oh. Oh, Tato. He's living his best life. We're back in the grocery store, which means it's time for another installment of Erica Approved. We have a new product. As you know, we're huge fans of oat milk. But is the oat ice cream going to be good? I just don't know. Should we try it? Stay tuned. Potato's least favorite thing, a bath. What's about to happen, little guy? Oh, no idea. <laughs> 
How's it going? Well, pretty good. Tato does not particularly love this, but he seems to be okay. Look how small he is. You can really see how tiny he is when he's wet. Hi, Tay. Look at this guy. How you doing? Good job, Tato. Good job. He really is doing very well, considering he hates getting a bath. Okay, you made it, Tato. Good job. Traumatized. <laughs> Today has been a day. I announced my podcast on Instagram, which I'm really excited about. If you haven't heard about it, my new podcast is called One Step and you can follow it on Instagram at One Step Podcast and we'll be putting up updates there so you can get more information on the podcast. But for now, I'm just gonna keep it vague here and not say too much, but there will be more updates coming soon. My friends needed their dog walked, so I went out and did that and I'm gonna be doing that actually for the next couple days. She's a very sweet dog. We had a lot of fun. And then I went to therapy and now I am back. This is some asparagus I have on a baking tray. There's a little bit of olive oil, salt and pepper. You know the deal, keeping it simple. But I wanna know, where's the tater tot? Where's the tater tot? Typical Tato hanging out with his favorite person, Erica America. Other things happening in the kitchen. I'm about to defrost this frozen, frozen, wow. This frozen shrimp. This is one of my favorite things to do. I just get cocktail shrimp that's already pre-cooked and frozen. And then all you have to do is defrost it under some room temperature water. It doesn't take that long. And then I'm going to cook it on the stove with some garlic and butter and seasoning, et cetera etc so I'm putting together a little salad here oh really sir on the meditation pillow once again shrimp is cooking with some garlic butter and I'm gonna add some salt and pepper too and a squeeze of lemon I think but I can't do this with one hand so BRB look at these mitts Erica has I love them, aren't they so cute? They're the tiniest little kitchen mitts I've ever seen. But I'm gonna use this tiny mitt to get out the asparagus in here. Looking good, looking good. All right, here are the finished salad bowls. So there's the shrimp, a little bit of corn, some of the asparagus, which I added some red pepper flakes to, some tomatoes seasoned with salt and pepper, avocados seasoned with salt and pepper, on a bed of greens and we're just gonna put some dressing on this and then it's time to eat. Meanwhile, Chef Erica is preparing Tato's dinner. And I use a grapefruit spoon for it. Oh, luxury. <laughs> Only the best for Tato. <laughs> All right, Tay. Okay, oh. one more spin. Oh, signature spins. All right, there you go. Oh, what a guy. Tato also insists that he eats on the edge of a rug. This is the dog that I have, everyone. Tato's having a post-dinner crisis. Hey, wanna get your stick? He can't get his stick underneath the couch right there. Here, I'm just gonna set him up. What's down there? Oh. Oh, now that is bravery. Talk about courage. You know what I say about Tato? He practices courage every day with his butt in the air too. <laughs> On that note, we're just gonna end here for today. Good morning, everyone. Erica and I took a yoga class this morning, which was really nice. It was like a wake up and flow class. And we had breakfast before that. I made a smoothie for myself, a green smoothie, super yummy. And now it's like 9.30 and I'm heading over to The Wing. If you don't know what The Wing is, it is an inclusive co-working space that I've really been loving. And I'm gonna be meeting Christina there and we're gonna do some work. We have a video to get up today and we're also going to work on some podcast stuff. And then this afternoon I have to go and walk my friend's dog again, which I'm looking forward to because I love her. And then I am gonna go back to Erica's shower and I have dinner with a friend tonight, which I'm really looking forward to. So I come home and look what Tato is wearing. Is that my headband from this weekend, sir? I leave this place just for a little bit 
Yeah. And Tato gets an outfit. Hi. Look at that little bow tie. Tato, turn around. Oh, yep. Handsome as can be. So I'm teaching Erica how to make a green smoothie because she wants to learn how to do it. So the key here, at least when I make a green smoothie, is to use light colored fruits. Dripping. Oh. oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> the key is to not have everything drip, drip everywhere. But I use light colored fruits, so mango, peaches, pineapple, and then we'll throw in a handful of spinach. So I'm just gonna grab this and put this in the bottom. And I also have an avocado here, so I'm gonna use that up too. So this is our green for the smoothie. Also adding collagen into smoothies makes it extra creamy, but mine's packed away. Now we'll put in half a banana. I have frozen peaches and mango here, and that just helps to give it this smoothie consistency. I should be using a spoon, but I can't be bothered right now. Our beloved oat milk, which is running low. Shoot, we don't have a lot left. So, just splash it out in there. Looks pretty good to me. Got a nice green color. Looks like Nickelodeon slime. All the cups are dirty, so using a spoon. Yeah, don't tell anyone. <laughs> I am ready for dinner. Here is what I'm wearing. Don't have my shoes on yet, obviously. I'm just wearing some black sandals. Okay, bye. I'm currently on a walk with my friend's dog. My friends just moved and they needed some help with walking their dog. And because I work from home, I offered to do it for the last couple days. And this is gonna be my last walk with her and I'm gonna miss her. Oh, she's pooping, hold on. <laughs> Gotta go take care of this. Dog walk is finished now. And today I am taking off work because last week was super crazy with working and moving. So I've decided to take the day off and take myself on a date. So I'm actually gonna head into Manhattan right now and go to the Tenement Museum because I've been wanting to go there forever. And now is the time. I made it back and I'm feeling super sweaty from walking around all day, but I had a great afternoon out. I went to the Tenement Museum, which was an incredible experience. And I took the Hard Times tour. They have a bunch of different tours that you can take, but this one explored one of their preserved tenement buildings. And you get to learn about two families that actually lived in that building. It was also really cool to be on this tour with people who had lived lived on the Lower East Side, so they were older and they had come back to the neighborhood and they were taking this tour and they were walking around in the building and having their own personal experience with it. So that was really, really special. After that, I was hungry, so I stopped by to say hello to my old friend, The Wing, and I had a sandwich and some matcha there, recharged my battery, and then I headed uptown to Levon Bakery because I wanted to get some cookies for our 4th of July picnic that we're gonna be having in the park tomorrow. We're gonna barbecue, eat some food, and so I got six cookies, three chocolate chip walnut, and three of the chocolate peanut butter. Those two flavors are my favorite. Happy 4th of July. We are getting ready to go to the park for a picnic. First up, we have drinks. So there's sparkling water, plain, lime, mango, berry LaCroix, and then black cherry, ketchup and mustard. Rocks, but we gotta get more. Jalapenos, those are for me. We also have the cookies I got yesterday too. Essentials. Look at this cool little picnic basket cooler that Erica got. What a great little purchase. Amazon. We also have Tato's water dish since it's pretty hot outside. Two small little folding chairs and some blankets. Tato, are you ready to go? Tato loves being transported in a tote bag because he gets to look at everyone and he doesn't have to get all hot and tired walking around. Oh my God, <laughs> look at him. <laughs> Hi Tato. I think he likes it because he's up against my body and then he can totally go in the bag and feel secure. Mother always liked you best, Tay.
All right, we are back for the evening. We had a great time in the park, grilled. We pretty much spent the entire day in the park. Tato had a great time. And then we came back, took a little breather, showered because we were so sweaty. We ordered some dinner, ate it up on the roof. We brought Tato up on the roof, but then fireworks started and he started to get really scared. He was like shaking, so. We brought him back down and now we're just in for the evening and we're gonna relax and that's gonna be it for this week. Vlogmas, Vlogmas, 2019, July. <laughs> What's happening? <laughs> See you next week.